this brother has came up and he showed me what was on his hat. So I would assume, I'm assuming that this brother knows that he an Israelite and he's supposed to keep the commandments. Is that correct? You just said out of your own tongue, we're supposed to keep the Sabbath day. The Sabbath is a holy day. Let us keep the feast. So Passover, you're supposed to be keeping that. So when I ask you in April, what are you going to be doing? You should have been saying, hey, we're going to be keeping the feast. a lot of people contrary to what the scripture just said a lot of people say go with your own heart right. don't they say that they say go with your heart how you doing bro come around let me show you a couple things yeah 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 uh, yeah yeah all right i'll praise to the most high right now we're going over the mind watch this come look at this what's your name brother g all right this shamar i'm silas all right now all right yes sir how you doing big brother all right yes sir come around here now now there's a common there's a common uh saying in the world that you should trust your heart you should go with what your heart is telling you do you believe that above all things read the scripture the book of jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 9 the heart is deceitful above all things you heard what he just said it's in the bible the heart is deceitful above all things so when someone is telling you that you can lean to your own understanding, oh, I did this because that's what my heart was telling me, that's a lot. And it may... Uh-huh. Yep, yeah, there you go. Uh-huh. There you go. That's a, that's a perfect example. Watch this. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Desperately wicked. Is that it on that? Who can know it? Who can know it? All right, now... So, let's see if we, uh, we can tie this conversation all together. So, you see how you came up and you had already knew about us, right? And you had already had some knowledge. But it was something that you had needed to learn more about how to Sabbath and how to conduct yourself and how important it is to keep the Sabbath, right? Now, this brother has came up and he showed me what was on his hat. So, I would assume, I'm assuming that this brother knows that he an Israelite and he's supposed to keep the commandments. Is that correct? All right, Leviticus 19, 29, 1927, 28, 29. All right, now, to remember the Sabbath and to keep it holy. All right, now, can we get tattoos according to the Bible? All right, all praise. So you understand we can't do that no more. All praise to the Most High. The Sabbath day, what do you congregate at? Okay, uh, Hebrews 10 and 24. Um, how come you don't? Come around other brothers, like-minded brothers and sisters. I have a home church. We don't have a day at the house. They come to the house. Okay, they come to the house. We got praise, worship, Bible study, service, all that. Okay, so we have we have something coming up in April. What are you going to be doing for that? Wherever the Lord takes me, what he tells me. We got Passover coming up. What do y'all do for Passover? What do you do? All right, let me show you. First Corinthians five and seven. All right, I'll praise to the Most High. Let's see. So there's a hot now. There's a holy day that you're supposed to be keeping. All right. Now, according to the Bible, we're gonna we're gonna see are we supposed to be keeping Christmas today, or are we supposed to be keeping God's holidays according to the Bible? Watch this. The Book of First Corinthians, chapter five and verse seven. Purge out, therefore, the old leaven, that ye may be a new lump. So the leaven is symbolic is, is symbolic to sin, okay? Now it says to purge out the old leaven. We read about that in Exodus chapter 12, where it's going to go into that deeper, all right? Hey, you, you following me? Hey, hey, listen in real quick, okay? I'm not saying let's go, you Okay, okay, bear with us, okay? Bear with us, we got you. Verse 7, Purge out, therefore, the old leaven, that ye may be a new lump, as ye are unleavened. For even Christ, our Passover, Christ our what? Our Passover is a sacrifice for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Let us keep the feast. So Passover, you're supposed to be keeping that. So when I ask you in April, what are you going to be doing? You should have been saying, hey, we're going to be keeping the feast. They're going to be coming to my house and keep the feast. You understand? That is what you're supposed to be doing. 
for the Passover, you're supposed to be coming I like together. Two questions. So what, yeah. do you do? what do you do whenever you have a scripture that tells you that no man judge you in feasts or festivals or new moons or new Sabbaths? What do you say about that? Well, I would, I would flip it right back around and say, where did we start at? You said we're supposed to keep the Sabbath day. Yes, that's the Ten Commandments. Okay, but that's a feast day. You didn't know that? No, it's not. Let's see, Leviticus 23. Oh, look. All right, let's see. Yeah. Bear with me, we're going to find days, out. The feast days are separated. At the very beginning, it tells you the Sabbath day is the commandment of the Lord, which is to be set aside that one day. Let's see. Aside. Once you go now, let's see what the Bible says. I'm following you. I'm following you. Right? Now, let's right? see what the Bible says. Say. Everything I say, we going to always pull that's scripture. All, all right, watch this. The book of Leviticus, chapter 23, verse 1. So the brother, hey, he made a comment. He made a statement. And what he said was, I, I first, he said we're supposed to keep the Sabbath day. Yeah. So we went and we showed that Christ kept the Passover and we're supposed to keep Passover. You understand what I'm saying? So once I said that, his rebuttal was, what would you say if someone says to you, let no man judge you in, in, in holidays or respect of holy days. I said, hold up, wait. You just said out of your own tongue, we're supposed to keep the Sabbath day. The Sabbath is a holy day. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. We want to stay on one track. One, one second. We don't understand. You got some knowledge, Shamar. Bear with us. Right now, we're trying to see, is the Sabbath a holy day, according to the Bible? You following me? All right, watch this. The book of Leviticus, chapter 23, verse 1. Yes. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them concerning the feast, concerning the what? The, the concerning feast. the feast of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocation. It says this is a feast day, and it's going to be a holy convocation. Read. Even these are my feast. Six days shall work be done. What is this going into? It says six days shall work be done. Read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath day of rest. But I thought the Sabbath day wasn't a feast day. Hallelujah. No, it's not. Keep reading. I'm to get you just read it. Read. I understand English. Let me read again. Right. Verse yes, 2. Read again. Speak unto the children of Israel Hallelujah. and say unto them concerning the feast of the Lord, Hallelujah. which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocation. Did it say feast? Keep reading. Right there? Keep reading. Did it say Read it. Even these are my feast. Hallelujah. La Biblia dice que fiesta. Si o no, mi hermano. Didn't the Bible just say feast? Yes or no? What was that at? <laughs> that was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they. I've called her. She hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. Didn't have to class. Yeah, I knew what you were talking about. I just didn't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again. Shamar. Is it a peace day? Wait, the Passover is... No, we're not talking about Passover. This is the, this is the Sabbath. This is the Sabbath. Yes. Read it again. Shamar lost. Speak unto... Read down to verse... Read three now. You good. Six days shall the work be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest. You see what it said? It's talking about the Sabbath. And up, up in the beginning, it said these are what? The feast, la fiesta. Mira, watch this. Ye shall do no work therein. It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwelling. No matter where you are, you're supposed to be keeping this day. So, guarda el, el septimo día. De Dios, okay? In el, in el séptimo día. Pero no en el, el primer día, okay? Watch this. Mira esto. These are the feasts. The These are the what? Yes. These are the feasts of the Lord. Uh -huh. No. Oh, 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 you're, you're correcting me. These are you're the interrupting. Have, have respect. Okay. These are the feasts of the Lord. Even holy convocations, which ye shall proclaim in their seasons. Bring it so, out. as you can see, we're supposed to keep this day, and it's a holy convocation. It's a feast day. Now, hold your, hold your peace. You're going to speak right after me. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 16. No, this, this, no, wait, this is, are you going to take, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Are you a man? Are you a man? I'm a man too. So, how could a man interrupt another man in his speech? You're showing you have no respect. 
So what I'm going to, what I'm going to is the scripture that you quoted in the beginning. Okay. So to get the proper understanding. So we haven't changed the subject. The, st the same subject is still at hand. Bring it out. we go. Now watch this. Was that Colossians what? Colossians 2.16. Watch this. Watch this. So we understand that the Sabbath is a feast. Alright? Uh, just alright, watch this. He understood, he understood. You don't know who don't understand. Watch this. The book of Colossians, chapter 2, verse 16. Let no man therefore judge you in meat. Right after this topic, right after this point, you can ask your you after him. He got a question. You after him. I'll pray to the most high. Yeah, wait right here so you can get the answer to this one too. Colossians chapter 2, verse 16. Let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink or in respect of an holy day so right here it said a holy day okay now it said don't judge him in this day let's see what days is going to explain the or of the new moon or so on a new moon you're not supposed nobody's supposed to judge you on that day let's see read what else do, what other day or of the sabbath days or of the what days uh, or of the sabbath Days. So when we read in Leviticus, the Sabbath wait, day. No, 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 no. Read it again. Read the last word. Or of the Sabbath day. Thank you. Now go back to the book of Luke. Now it's my turn. Right? It ain't over. The scripture's still there. The scripture's not over. We got to finish the verse. Watch this. Okay, go. Which are a shadow of things to come. But the body of Christ. What does that mean? What does that mean? Tell me. You don't want to pull it. That the things that verse were, 2 and 8. The things that were a shadow we're going, we're going to 2 and 8. Was the, was the Jesus coming, right? So that means that... Let's slow down for one second. I, I want to make sure I understand you. I want to make sure we understand. Let's make sure we're all on one accord. Amen. Before we move forward, are you saying we do not... We don't have to keep the Passover no more if we don't want to? Yes or no? no. Or the Sabbath? I'm, I'm asking you. I want to understand. Yes or no? There is a separation between the two. Hey, is the sky blue? See, look, is, is the sky blue? Is the sky blue? Yes. It's easy to understand. One second, we're dealing with him. And then you next. And then you next. Hey, numbers 15 and 38. Numbers 15 and 38. Watch this. The book of Numbers. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. All right, they over there doing whatever they doing anyway. All right, come on over here. All right, now, Leviticus chapter 23, you understood, you understood that the Bible said that the Sabbath day is a feast day. How is that so hard to understand? is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. in